streams of life, like your stream and my stream, like rivers, they meet. And that fluid meeting point, that fluid interconnectedness, that's the point of relation. Hello, my name is Thomas Hübel. You're listening to my new podcast, The Point of Relation. I call the podcast The Point of Relation because it's very interesting that everything in life that has meaning for us, meaning in the sense of we feel attracted to it, we are interested in it, we have a lot of motivation, or that we dislike, that we reject, that we resist in life, everything that has some meaning is in a relationship with us. And we are in a relationship to whatever that is. And the point of relation is a term that I use in my teachings as, as the maturation point where a mature self has a choice. So where we begin to have a choice to say yes or no, and we are free to say yes or no and choose moment to moment in our life, whatever, how we go along in our life. So the point of relation is a horizontal dimension or has a horizontal dimension, which means how I relate to circumstances in my life, how I relate to my children, how I relate to my spouse, how I relate to my work, also how I relate to technology, how I'm dealing with the constant updates of our world and how I update myself in relation to a world that is constantly changing. So the point of relation is actually not a static place, it's part of a flow, a moment to moment to moment experience of a relational flow with the world. And for many of us, we know how it feels to be in a flow. We know how it feels when things are flowing simply. And that means that we are in a constant relational space with the world. And then we also know when that flow stops, when we run into stagnations, difficulties, when things don't line up so well, when we feel uh, our life's a bit desynchronized. And that's an equally interesting place for us. So the point of relation in this podcast is supposed to support us to be part of an ever-updating world and how we grow in this world, how we stay young, fresh, related, contemporary, how we use the growth of the world for our own growth, how we are inspired, but also how we use the struggling moments, how we use the moments of friction with the world and find a different relation to it. So I think that's why the point of relation and this podcast will deal with our own experience, how we deepen our experience of the world, how we are constantly in a learning process and we are learning from each other so we will have many guest speakers that uh, represent a certain competence, quality, they have lots of life wisdom and want to share it with us and be in a relationship with me in finding out something new that we co-create together. Because I think that's the sweet spot of a relationship is where we give birth to a future that is bigger than both of us. And it can only happen because the two of us are coming together. And I think we all know conversations where we are suddenly excited, where we are inspired, where we start to glow, our neurons start to glow, because we are entering a, a world together that, we, that gives birth through us, like a new idea, a new innovation, a new insight. And, and I think that's an exciting place to be. And I have had many, many conversations like that, and I'm sure you did too, where in relationship, there is a space that is bigger than the two of us and where the future is being born through us. And I think that's another point, that the point of relation is also the birthplace of the future. And it doesn't matter if I'm sitting in a lab and I'm exploring something and suddenly I have a scientific insight or I, I discover something or I have a relationship, a conversation with somebody and that is the birthplace of a future or I'm part of a, a team or a collective and suddenly we give birth together to something new. So the point of relation relates also to the vertical line, which means 
downloading the future, having insights and innovation that comes top, top down, that is inspiring us and speaks to us in silent moments, in moments when we, in moments of awe, in moments of deep relationship, or in moments of deep concentration and focus onto something. On the other hand, the point of relation is also how we relate to where we come from. How do we relate to our own journey that made us who we are? It also includes, of course, our wounding, our trauma, our ancestors' experience, our collective experience, and so the experience of the world that we arise in. And so we will also explore in many, many ways how we can find a different and more expanded and more generous and more healing and a more integrating relationship to our own becoming or to our own history where we come from. And that rooting, what I call rooting, that, that kind of relationship to our roots and humanity's roots, I think is very important because there's a lot of wisdom stored in us. So the point of relation is actually that pulsing movement that resides in our hearts that has the power to relate to the future, that to relate what we call the past, and to be curiously related to what's going on in this world today. And not only how we perceive the world, but also how we can contribute to this world, how we perceive this world and how we contribute to this world and how we create more intra-existing interest, like that I find out more and more that the world is not just out there, society is not just out there, nature is not just out there, but it's equally in here. Sometimes you might think, oh, society is around us, or when you walk through the forest, nature is around us. When in fact, I am also society. I am also nature. So nature is not just around us. It's an interdependent, interconnected, intra-being reality. And the way we process that intra-existence of the world in us is actually how we develop wisdom. Wisdom is kind of the parts of the world that we can host in ourselves and find a resonant relationship to. And resonance is a great word because resonance is the language of relating. And when we look at it that way, so the point of relation is actually a process. It's, we call it relating. It's a moment to moment to moment process. And so it, it helps us to liquefy the world and to find deeper and deeper answers, or in another way we could say, we are becoming deeper and deeper answers to the questions that we are walking with in our life. And that's why I decided to create this podcast where I will explore things with you and I will invite lots of guests uh, that will explore aspects of life uh, with us so that we can be a contemporary contribution witness part of resonance within this world that we are living and deepen our experience together. And of course, what's very dear to my heart is definitely how can we melt, become aware of, liquefy, integrate the bigger wounds of history that are still living in us, that are being passed on generation to generation. And given my work deals a little bit trauma, collective trauma, and large-scale wounds on the planet globally that um, also prevent the deeper collaboration, prevent or impair the global or collective data flow in the human supercomputer so that we more often than not feel separate and kind of fragmented and that creates all kinds of uh, recurrent issues and re-traumatizations around the world. And what is the power that we have as individuals and as collectives 
to meet that past in a different way than just saying, no, it's too much. I, I don't want to deal with that. And, and become the learning that it's exciting if you do it step by step and in the appropriate pacing or titration, we can actually learn a lot from that often also painful past and transform our ways of being and transform also our ethical understanding. And in a way, understanding is a beautiful term because understanding means that I stand in alignment, spirit, our cognition, our heart, our emotional experience, our physical sensing, our ancestral rooting, and our relational experience of the world moment to moment. There is an understanding and authenticity or to be real means that what we say and what we express is in alignment with that internal understanding. And in understanding is a data flow, is a, is a vertical data flow through our nervous system. And that's why streams of life, like your stream and my stream, like rivers, they meet. And that fluid meeting point, that fluid interconnectedness, that's the point of relation. So it's not something static. It's, it's where the movement of life creates relative realities, relative truth, and we are able to negotiate a world together. And so I'm very excited to share with you that um, we are rolling out this podcast and, and I'm very excited because I know that I'm going to have uh, amazing conversations and explorations. And, and when you're listening to me or to us and you become part of, of our ongoing exploration, then whatever arises in you, whatever that is, is interesting and is part of the exploration because I'm not separate from you. We are, we are residing in this interconnected world. And that's why I think we will together give birth to many insights, revelations, and like a deep learning process that we all go through in order to stay a contemporary participant or a contemporary citizen in this world. But this is an invitation. And if that speaks to you, then you're most invited to join us and to sign up for our podcast and become part of the community. Mm -hmm.